Hi folks, my name is Robert and today I'll be showing you here how to uh, create a diagonal sum. Well, the first thing we would do is to um, enter some random numbers here. So I'll be using the uh, int function, um, rent function, then I'll be multiplying this by, you know, any number, let's say uh, 500. Now, once you finish this, you have two ways to propagate uh, this formula uh, to this range. You can press um, control enter and by pressing control enter the formula will be uh, propagated to all the other cells but as you can see in the formula bar this is just a normal formula but you can also enter it as um, as an array formula so if you press F2 to enter in edit mode then you can press control shift enter and as you will see now in the formula bar you have the brackets and the brackets indicate that this is actually a uh, an array formula so in this particular case, it doesn't really matter. So I'll just go back to it pressing uh, F2 and then pressing Control Enter. So I enter it as a normal formula. Uh, the next thing I'll be doing is entering a conditional formatting. And this conditional formatting will show us uh, which row, uh, or rather, which diagonal is actually uh, being summed. So I'll be using the um, column function from A1 minus row A1. And if the result of this is equal to the value we'll be typing on H1, um, <coughs> then uh, we should format the background to something. So let's choose a fill here. Um, I don't know, we can choose maybe this uh, this blow should be all right. We can actually change. Uh, we can leave, yeah, we, let's change the, the, the font um, as well. Let's put here as bold and let's put the color as um, white so we give a little bit of contrast uh, to this. So since we don't have any value, uh, Excel is considering this to be um, uh, the diagonal zero. So if I type zero here, it would be the same. Just notice that the values obviously are going to be changing uh, because this is a random uh, formula. And if I, if I type minus one, as you can see now, it moves down minus two and then I could type two, for example. So as I said, this is what's going to show us uh, which diagonal is actually being uh, summed. <coughs> now, the next thing we have to do is to enter uh, our formula. So let's just change the value here to zero. So we'll be uh, uh, summing the main uh, diagonal. And our formula is going to be equal to uh, sum. And we, we're opening a parenthesis, a parenthesis again. And we'll be using the uh, column function. We'll be selecting here the entire range and we'll be subtracting this from the row number from uh, the same range. So we're going to close now uh, this parenthesis and we're going to set this equal to H1. We're closing the parenthesis and we're going to now multiply this by the range A1, E5, which is the range we want to sum. And we're going to now close the last parenthesis. Now we all we have to do is to press uh, Control Shift Enter and we will have our summation. Now what is basically happening here, and I will show you now, let's just copy this part um, of the formula here. Let's copy this and let's go here to another range and I'll paste this formula here. Now if I press Control shift enter uh, what you have is the uh, values true or false and as you can see the true values are actually going down uh, this diagonal. Now another thing you can do is simply multiply this by 1 and press again Control shift enter and then what you will see is that the values you have in the diagonal are actually the value equal to 1, which are the true values. And obviously, if you actually did uh, multiply this by the range uh, itself and press Control shift enter what you get in the diagonal are actually the values that should be summed. And if you obviously select uh, these values by pressing and holding down uh, the Control key, as you will be able to see down here, actually, the summation of the selected cell is actually um, 1,211. And then you could change uh, the diagonal that needs to be summed 
uh, let's say um, diagonal minus 3 and that's uh, 460 plus 12 and that we can do you know from the top of our head that's uh, 472 and then we could do you know 3 positive which is uh, 214 plus uh, 47 which is 261 so this is actually a, a very interesting way of working with um, array formulas so I hope you have enjoyed the um, example until next time my name is Robert